truncated data. Depending on the data to be displayed in a stem plot, it may be necessary to truncate it. For example, given the following values, each with three significant digits, should we decide to display the values in a stem plot, we will choose the stem to be the ones place or the units place, and the leaf will be made up of the tenths place, the value immediately to the right of the decimal, and truncating the extra digit, which is actually the hundredths place value in each one of these numbers. Truncate is a method of approximating a decimal number by dropping all decimal places past a certain point without rounding. For example, if we take the first number, 1 and 47 hundredths, truncate it to the tenths place means we are dropping all the values beyond the tenths, regardless of the size of that value in the hundredths place, we will stick with simply 1.4. So here's the stem plot that was generated from the data with truncating each of the values. 1.4, 2.0, here's our 2 with the 3, 3.4, and so on for the rest of the values. Once it's in a stem plot, as with most stem plots, we can determine the spread, the smallest value to the largest value. The center, since these values are in order for the leaf, the center or the median is between 3.4 and 3.7. Furthermore, we can determine that the data is mound-shaped or approaching that of a normal distribution with no gaps or possible outliers. Rather than truncate data, though, it is permitted to have a two-digit stem. And here's an example for weights of adults a two-digit stem was used to maintain the original numbers. So we have stem values of 10 through 23, and the key here indicates that a 23-line leaf of 7 was created from the original 237. So these are weights that are to the nearest 10, 100, 110, 120, and so on. So rather than cutting the numbers off, we can see the original whole weight using the two-digit stem approach. In this example, we're given blood sugar readings that are ranging from a low of 113 to a high of 300 plus. Considering the stem plot, there would be too many gaps to use a two-digit stem for this data set. So the alternative is to again use the truncated method. And with truncation, we will let the stems be created by using the 100 place values. So we'll have a stem of 2, 1, and our 3 for the 200s, 100s, and 300s. And as an example, 203 becomes 2 stem 0, putting the tens digit as the leaf and truncating or discarding the ones digit. So 2 is our stem, 0 is our leaf, the ones digit place is being omitted. The result for these blood sugar readings is the stem plot shown here and the key, a 3 
stem with leaf of zero was the original 300 value. Now this would have most likely come from any of our 300 readings. 309, for example, would be here under this 300 number as well as the 301. Because of the truncation, we're essentially rounding it without using the conventional rounding values to get a sense of what the data looks like. Most of the readings we can see are in the 100 range with fewer in the extreme over 300. Here we have reordered the leaves for this blood sugar stem plot that was created. And to get a better sense of the data, one might consider expanding the stems, putting a, perhaps two ones so that we have 100 to 149, a second one for the 150 to the 199, and so on, so that we could get a better sense of where most of the values are running.